Hello and welcome to the Swiss Road Trip Garage. I've done some detailing on my 71 VW camper van and wanted to show you around underneath. So we're going to do a little tour underneath the camper van today. And just behind me, I've got my 2006 Maserati Grand Sport and my artwork from Tony Upson, all my detailing stuff over there. And the camper van is right here up on the car lift. Ready to go. So let's have a look. So I've recently had the underside of the Jeep treated with Rust Buster for the winter and thought it would be a good idea to do something similar with the camper van. So I got my Swiss sort of um, motor and chassis cleaner and the uh, gunk degreaser and went through the underside and cleaned off all the grease and the dirt and grime and everything else. And then I've applied this um, built hammer, Dynex UC. Um, clear film anti-corrosion wax, which is actually pretty good. I didn't know what it was like and I hadn't tried it before. Um, and so I just bought two cans of it, but um, you'd probably be better off with three or even four cans to treat the whole of the underside of a vehicle like this. But um, it was only like 12 pounds each, so 25 quid, so maybe 50 quid for the whole thing. So when applying the anti-corrosion wax, I started at the back and worked my way forward. So I haven't managed to, to do the front wheel wells, but I'll get some more when I'm back in the UK and I'll finish it up. But that notwithstanding, this is pretty much the cleanest the camper van's been in about the last six or eight years. I had it, I had it painted professionally um, about 10 or 12 years ago and the under, underside done then. But, um, you know, new shocks fairly recently. I've got an upgraded uh, anti-roll bar with nylon bushes, anti-sway bar if you like to call it that. There's the brake master cylinder, and this is for the heating from the uh, from the exhaust, and the steering components. The little tow hook, which is handy. That's the um, steering box and the horn. This has been treated all around here, and the cracks and crevices and things like that. So I was quite quite pleased to have it all done. So the underside of the camper van is a pretty basic thing. You've got these two main frame rails running the length of the vehicle, front to rear, and then two cross members with the jacking points on either side. So that's the front cross member. And then here's the rear cross member, again with the jacking point. That's a typical sort of rust spot. So you've got disc brakes in the front and drum brakes on the rear. I've had these half shafts upgraded, so that's a not a stock part, but a, a better after, aftermarket part. And the um, shocks and the rear wheel wells, I've treated all those. There's the heat exchanger, as well as that. And then the exhaust is back here. So this is all um, a high performance exhaust. I don't know that it makes the car any faster, it just sounds better. <laughs> it's kind of hard to make a, a 71 VW camper van fast, as it were. This is an upgraded 1776 uh, cubic inch engine. Here's my transmission. I opted against uh, the freeway flyer. This is a four speed stock transmission, um, but, it, but it works well. It's a, it's a rebuilt uh, unit. So the battery trays are notorious rust spots on um, EW camper vans. So I was keen to get that treated. And here you can see our retractable trailer hitch built into the rear bumper. The engine is right here. Um, doesn't have a few, uh, an oil filter. It's just got like an oil gasket. And it's pretty dry at the moment. It hasn't been leaking, fortunately, apart from that. <laughs> And you can see this is where the exhaust pipe comes out of the engine, goes through the, um, the heat exchanger, which sends the heat forward. I'll show you that in a minute. And then from there, it goes into the exhaust, which comes out of the muffler and out there. So the heat exchangers come like this, forward, two of them together into that center um, piece and forward to the, uh, the cabin. In terms of the rust treatment, you know, it's really important to try to um, spray into all these different holes and cracks and things. There are a lot of, a lot of access points that enable you to, um, to, to get wax and rust treatment into the vehicle. So it's actually a really worthwhile exercise because these, these box steel units, um, you know, they can rust out from the inside and by the time you see it, it's too late. So I can hardly give you a tour of the underside of the vehicle without showing you the engine bay as well. 
So I've had the blaze cut fire suppression system sort of mounted to the top of the engine bay and a couple of lights on there. Um, the oil bath uh, air um, cleaner is, is something that I've replaced with this um, with the filter and uh, my um, uprated coil and it's also nice to have a, um, a fuel filter where you can see it. And it's nice and nice and tidy back there, I think. Um, and also in the uh, no rust over in the battery compartment. I've got my SeaTech battery charger or battery conditioner on the go. And right amount of uh, tension. Well, it's maybe a little bit loose, but um, but it's it works well. 